This is a pretty simple 2D platformer game. You can move, jump and shoot bullets at this enemy. It looks okay and you can have fun with it, but you know, it doesn't feel that interesting. So in this video, I will show you my methods to make such a simple game feel way better. But please keep in mind, these tricks don't apply to all games. So let's get right into it. Color is one of the key aspects of game feel. A change in color can give the player good feedback on what he did and feedback is the most important part of game feel. I made it so that when the enemy gets hit from the bullet, he flashes white. It just tells the player that the shot has connected. And this is actually quite simple to do. On hit you change the enemy's color to be white and after some time you reset the color to be normal again. And with that simple change the game already feels more interesting. Another way to give the player more feedback and make the game feel nicer is changing in shapes. What I applied here is the so called squash and stretch animation. The character squashes and stretches when he fires a bullet and the same applies to the opponent when he gets hit by a bullet. This trick just gives both actions more impact and they also feel more juicy and alive. Particles are also very important to make something look and feel way better. So I just added three simple particle effects. When the player jumps, when the bullet hits something like a wall or the enemy, and when the enemy finally dies. And here it is very essential to keep in mind that less important events, like jumping or the bullet hitting a wall, don't really need a big explosion with many particles. Only for critical actions, like the death of the enemy, it's okay to really let it bang. But most of the time, some small particles are enough. Just keep it simple. One thing that I love to add is knockback. Knockback is a pretty nice way to let the player really feel the impact of a shot from his weapon. So every time the player fires a gun, add some recoil. You can also apply knockback on the opponent when he gets hit from the bullet. And it can also be pretty fun to boost yourself around with the weapon. To make something feel way more powerful and strong, screen shake is the easiest option to go with. It really improves the feeling that the characters and objects in the game really interact with the world and have impact on it. But you have to be very careful. Screen shake is a double-edged sword. It can really give your game more juiciness, but it can also ruin the game if you have too much or strong screen shake. Screen shake lets the player feel explosions or hits, but it can also seriously disrupt gameplay or distract the player. So be careful and rather use a bit less screen shake than too much. I would actually say that none of these tricks I showed before are such great at improving the game feel and making sure the player gets enough feedback than sound. An explosion is not an explosion without sound. So make sure that nearly everything in your game has a matching sound effect. If you compare the version without sound, and then with sound, you can really see the difference it makes. And with that, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you learned something new. If you did, then be sure to leave a like. If you have any questions or feedback, then please write a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.